Welcome back. Now that you know how to configure application and transaction alerting in FactFinder, let's talk about how to get proactive alerting set up. The main way to do that is through dependency alerts. These are alerts on either the service levels or resource consumption of a critical machine in the transaction dependency path. To set a proactive dependency alert, first open up either an application, transaction, or machine explorer view. There are three varieties of dependency alerts you can set. First, you can set a service level alert on the machine, telling you when on average it's slowing down for all of its clients. Second, you can set a resource consumption alert, telling you when that machine is out of a critical resource, like CPU or memory. Third, you can set a service level alert on a link between two processes. Let's say I've had some performance problems with my Oracle database in the past, and I want to make sure that its service levels aren't degrading before my transaction begins to be affected. We can set a machine service level alert by right-clicking on the machine and choosing Add Alert for Machine. You'll see this opens the familiar Add Alert dialog, but there are important criteria that we can set for a machine that we can't set for an app or transaction. We can set alerts on its average response time, or even the average response time of the servers it depends on. We can do the same for max response time and load and total response time. We can also set alerts on certain events affecting the downstream dependencies of this server. Let's say this Oracle server depends on a back-end third-party credit lookup. If the Oracle server tries to reach out and fails, that's a failed connection and we can alert on that. Similarly, we can also see if transactions sent to that third-party service are beginning to back up or hang. And finally, we can set alerts on resource consumption on this Oracle server, things like CPU, memory, network I.O., and disk queue length. I'm going to set an average response time alert and set it to 300 milliseconds. And because I'm not going to be watching this transaction explorer to see if this event happens, I'm going to set an additional action. I'm going to choose Enable Pop-Up. By using that dialog that I just demonstrated, you can set either the service level or resource consumption alerts for this machine. If you set a resource utilization alert for one of the servers in an application, there's a special kind of alert status icon that appears in the app dashboard if that threshold is violated. Let's say the CPU on the Oracle machine violated the threshold that I set with an alert. In the app dashboard, I would see a special yellow status icon indicating a resource constraint on one of the machines in the application, but it would not be red because service levels have not yet been affected. This allows me to know that there's an issue that I might need to address that could eventually harm end user service. The last category are link alerts. Let's say I just want to know when this CICS system slows down for one of these two MQ systems. I'll choose the bottom one. Just right click the link in the map and choose add alert for link. This will allow you to set a service level alert scoped to just this dependency. So now you know how to set a service level alert for an application, transaction, and proactive alerts for a critical dependency. Finally, let me quickly show you how to edit the alerts that you've set up and configure email and script actions. To do so, go to the tools menu and choose manage alerts. In the Manage Alerts dialog, I can edit any alert that I've set up to change its criteria, or I can activate and deactivate alerts. And finally, using the last two tabs, the Alert Email and Alert Script tabs, I can configure the options for emailing myself or others when there's an alert, or I can configure the scripts that run when an alert triggers. Thanks for watching this video on monitoring and alerting using FactFinder. In the next set of videos, we'll go over the methodology and approach for solving application performance problems using FactFinder.